Dashing through the snow On a one horse open sleigh Over the hills we go Laughing all the way <laughs> This is a really annoying laugh Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Why am I so happy and bubbly, despite the fact that we're going to be tackling the Devil Gate this episode? Well, we aren't going to be tackling the Devil Gate this episode. Yeah, I looked up the, uh, the, the Stray Bead Guide. Uh, spoilers, it gives you the stray bead, but you guys probably knew that. Uh, and I found out that actually we can't do it now. If, we, if I go in there again, the Devil Gate just isn't there. And it won't be there for quite some time, meaning I'm free to do what I want. And I won't be getting a Chase credit card anytime soon, because that's what that commercial's for. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, well, this episode, since I'm not going to be doing that and we're completely freed up, we're going to be going to Webkeer. Uh, secondly, firstly, what I want to do is head over to the dojo because uh, I I had previously set aside all of my money to be buying a bunch of vending slips and steel post sakes, but because we don't have to do that for quite some time, I can actually spend that money on better things like dojo techniques since we're a little bit behind. I'm going to be honest. Um, they kind of expect you to have these te get these techniques as soon as they are available to you, and if I progress much further, then I'm going to start to fall behind. It's not all about weapons, money, and praise. It's about techniques, too, since they help a great deal. It'd actually be kind of neat if there was one that gave us a, a fourth la uh, level of godhood, but... Well, actually, a fifth level, because there's negative godhood, and so they're technically four levels, but, you know, a fourth positive level. That'd be really neat, but alas, there's not such a technique. Let me go ahead and show you what he has available, instead of theorizing. Onigiri Sensei, what's up? We haven't seen you for a long, long time. Look who's here. Greetings, my little wolf friend. What the? Not you again. Can't you just pick a place to run? Yeah. Can't you just pick a place to run your dojo and stick with it? I've already com explained myself. No. Be it a lone isle among the waves or the most frigid mountain peak, I forge a warrior's path throughout the land. Wow, you're one serious dude. And here I thought you were laid back. Your face really changes when you get down to business. Let's get down to business to get a technique. And <laughs> what has brought you here? Do you once again seek my tutelage of the in the fighting arts? Yes, I do. Uh, cool thing. I'll actually be able to get almost all of his techniques here. All of them but one. But that one we've seen before. It's Brown Rage. That costs two million yen. So it's nothing really new. We. You don't know what it is, but it's not new. Uh, hardhead. Break objects that you couldn't before by tackling them. Uh, this is just an upgrade to our headbutt. We can now break iron rocks. However, interesting thing, and I'm going to spoil something for you guys. There is a third level of Power Slash. Uh, power Slash 3. Just like there are three levels of Cherry Bomb, there are three levels of Power Slash. Of course, that's not really spoilers because, you know, we've seen Crystal Slash Diamond Rock Slash Rainbow Cur Zirconia for many, many episodes since the beginning of the LP, so it's not really a surprise that, you know, there's a, a third level. But what I was saying is this actually scales, Hardhead, scales with whatever brush technique you have. Um, so if you have Power Slash 1, it will break normal rocks, but it won't be able to break iron rocks. If you have Power Slash 2, it will be able to br break both kinds of rocks, uh, normal and iron, but it won't be able to break Crystal Slash Rainbow Slash Ponytail thing. <laughs> Rainbow Ponies. I'm, I'm, I'm going to move on. <laughs> That's actually very good for my health. Let's just move on from that. Uh, so it'll actually scale, it'll scale, how many times I've said that, with whatever uh, Power Slash technique you have, which is interesting. Um, What's more interesting is, is that this is not a battle technique. It, you know, you cannot can never use your hard head or your uh, your tackle in battle. So that's, you know, it's, it's a it's a cool technique. Um, also, I kind of like how all these are called god techniques, which doesn't really make any sense. Okay, counter dodge. If you've mastered fleet foot, damage enemies with this new dodge. So it basically just adds a hitbox onto fleet foot 
allowing you to damage enemies. It's not really something that you can exploit or just use normally, or really defeat enemies with it, but it gives you an added bonus for dodging, and a really good reason for doing so. Holy Eagle, uh, if you use your double jump, you will now damage enemies while doing it. Only your double jump does not apply to your, your normal jump. Uh, so yeah, just jump, and then jump, and then there's a hitbox. This is interesting though, uh, because it lasts the full duration of your second hop, so if you're able to get really high, then it will last the whole time and you can actually hit enemies a lot with it. Or you could do like a short hop thing and add more, add more damage to your short hop uh, aerial reflector combo. So that's actually pretty neat. Uh, speaking of that, I, I have something to tell you guys about the short hop aerial reflector glaive combo, which I found out, but I'll do that later. Uh, next is four shears, it just adds a fourth hit to your glaive combo, pretty useful. And the fourth hit is actually a really good multi-hit, so that's really nice. Uh, bead string, equip rosaries as a main sub to increase their pass, their, their attack power, uh, and the same version of that except for glaives, that's really nice. We've had the re reflector version of that for a while, except I haven't really used it because Honestly, a counter isn't something that you can always use, uh, so that's pretty neat. And then Brown Rage, of course, if you've mastered Cold and Fury, add insult to injury with this. Uh, yeah, we don't, we won't know what that is for a long time. Uh, Brown uh, Sword Dance is what I'm going to get first. I'm going to do be doing these all off screen. I just want to point that out, and then I'll show you guys in a battle these techniques afterwards. So uh, I will meet you guys on the other side. First, I'd like to do this guy's voice. So you once again meet. So you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. But I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. He acts as if we're fighting him. Ha! Ha! Kamehameha! Ko Ken. I'm Wow! Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. That we will. I, like I said, I'll meet you guys on the flip side. And I am done. I purchased all of the techniques and learned them all. I also discovered something. Oh man, am I excited for this. You guys thought the wave dash was a big discovery, but I discovered the wave dash in this game. Yeah, I'm not I'm not just full of it. I actually did discover something that has the button inputs a lot like a wave dash. Actually, it's a lot a lot like a wave dash and it performs like a three-dimensional wave dash. It's super neat. So I'll go ahead and show that to you, uh, but what I should do is show off my actual techniques first, not my discovered ones. So I would like to show you guys the four hits of the glaives along with where's the demon scroll? Spo it was supposed to be right there. I know there's a demon scroll there, which actually also has a new enemy that we need to fight. Is it going to be here? It's I know it's right here. It has a new enemy and I Why? Is it supposed to be nighttime and oh it's supposed to be nighttime and it was already it was already daytime. I can't tell the, the days and nights in this game. Or not in this game, but in this area. There it is. Hey, come here. Okay, so you can see that my glaive is glowing. That's because I have the technique that allows, uh, that makes it so when I have a glaive, glaives equipped as a sub and main, they are powered up. So I can actually show you the, the new thing. One, two, three. Oh my word, it almost killed him. One, two, three, four. So it does four hits. Okay, this enemy, this is the Umbrella Namahaje. Uh, just go ahead and power slash it to get it to the ground, and then finish it off. Its floor finisher is Gale Storm, or not. It is Gale Storm, but I just messed it up. Oh, I shouldn't have killed you. I should not have killed you. Uh, because, oh, let's see. The technique is, there it is. You can see the hitbox that's active. It does actually a good deal of damage. Uh, and then there's this, which gives us hitbox which you weren't able to see really. I'll, I'll go do another battle. There should be a there should be a demon scroll right out here. Is there? Yes, there is. Okay. And then I can also show you guys the advanced technique, which I need to come up with a name for it. I'm probably going to be calling it mirror mirror dashing. Uh, this guy's new as well. I believe he's called he's called a cannon Namahaje. I'll go ahead and destroy his 
his tiki's. Oh wait, you can't. Wait, you, can, you can. Can you? Can you not? You can. But you can only get destroy them one at a time. Okay, so the technique I would like to show you is first of all this, which does damage. A good deal of damage. And then the dodge, which also does it. We didn't learn any other techniques that we can be used in battle, so I won't bother. Uh, okay, now, the technique that I discovered, it is really cool. Uh, as a main, you can have any weapon equipped, but I would suggest that you have a reflector equipped. Uh, next, as a sub, you need... Actually, I will do this, so I won't be accidentally killing enemies. Um, you need to have a reflector as a sub. Next, if you're running in any capacity, okay? And then you jump... No, 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 no. If you're running, and then you jump... Come on. There, there, there. You see it? You see that? You see that? You see that aura? I'm not sure if that's put in the game on purpose, but it doesn't seem like it. And if you get up to speed, like I can right now, you can see I just slid a long way. And the cool thing about this is you can actually direct your slide. So it's like a wave dash, except it's in three-dimensional area that you can... Let's see if I can do it. No, 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 I didn't do it. But I'm still running. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm wasting time, but I'm I'm really excited about this. This is really neat. Okay, let's get up to speed. I'll cut to when I actually do it. There, I did it. I did it. I did it. I actually didn't need to cut to that. So you could see that I was actually directing my space. And what I'm essentially doing is uh, taking advantage of your of the landing animation, which enables some some uh, very flexible movement to slide along the ground, which is actually really neat. I can see it being useful, actually. I'm not sure if the the counter hitbox is active during this. Honestly, I think that this could have been intended because if you look if you look at the graphic around the Matarasu, it is it is something that isn't. I mean, it is active during when you actually use the technique, but it's only for a split second. But it seems like something that would have been programmed in. It's actually it's actually really neat looking. I might call it like the I don't know the the purple tornado or something because it is it's really styling. I really like, like this. Okay, now let's go get to the ba actual thing. Uh, these guys, their floor finisher, I believe, is cherry bomb. Is it? No, it's not. Well, you guys saw the bio on screen, so it's fine. But yeah, that that this technique is really cool. It is so cool. Okay, I changed my weapons around, so I actually have uh, I have the Infinity Judge as my sub, just so I can I can uh, take advantage of the thing that allows me to get uh, more damage from from multi uh, from <laughs> same class weapons as a main as sub. There, I could I couldn't speak. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, and I discovered a new technique, I'm really cool. I'm really I'm really pumped about that. It looks really sweet. I can see myself using it in battle, not because it it's useful, but because it's really stupid, awesome looking. Okay, so here's Web Cure. Here. Let's go ahead and go in them in there, and I can hopefully stop gushing about the the mock no the Violet Tornado no the Violet Cyclone. That's that's a really cool name, the Violet Cyclone. It's pretty cool. Web Cure. I would like it actually to stay nighttime. Because I believe, if I remember right, this is how I first arrived in this game. Mostly, be I, I want it to stay nighttime just because it it adds a sense of what this village is right now. As we go in here, you will see that there are no villagers around. No, not one. And that's because of the blizzard. And with it being nighttime, I think it can better portray the, the, uh, the feelings, or not the feelings, um, that the... The morale? The morale of this village. It has a really good soundtrack, which it, it makes it seem like it's very old. It makes it seem like it's something that's been around here longer than we have, I guess I could say. And there's also this chimney, which I believe I can get in the spirit of Santa and get inside. No. Partially. I, th I probably could. I probably could. I, I did for a second there, but I'm not going to spend time on it. And also, I want it to be nighttime for the chess. And <laughs> a couple of my viewers are like, "Paladin, get 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 with the program, buddy. Get with the program." Uh, <laughs> and I, I I say, "Shut up. <laughs> I'm playing this game, not you. I will I will sidetrack myself if I want." 
Um, I guess we can go inside, maybe? Hey, Ami, come on. We got better things to do. Then what, read? Uh, let's go inside. No good. This door won't budge. So they actually did lock the door, so they don't want anyone inside. They're just trying to seal what w little warmth there is in their houses. I'm surprised that Matarasu's not freezing to death. Uh, but what I was going to say is that this area actually has all the stray beads available right now. We can access them all. In fact, there's one right there. Um, this is, I believe, one of the first, actually the first, I think, area to do so, which is, it's it's very unique. Um, it makes it, it changes the focus onto the villagers and not the stray beads, which is something I can definitely get behind because so many times you, you kind of forego talking to people because you'd rather get the collectibles. Hey, Ami, come on. Uh, what? What better things? T what better things does he want us to do? Like, does he want to go to Arby's really, really badly, or what? Uh, you know what? I will do a little bit exp of exploring, just because there are no villagers for us to talk to right now, and they're obviously around. The lights are on in all of these places, but they've locked the doors, and he doesn't want to read. Huh? Isun does seem really uncomfortable with with this uh, with this whole setting. It's because people here now know him. This is, at, as far as I can tell, Isun's home. We're very near, uh, near to Isun's home. And if what Oki says is true, he ran away from that place. What Waka told told us about um, a grandfather's son leaving him and taking one of his art, a piece of his art, seems to be true. And as we progress into daytime, you can see how truly big and complicated this area is. I constantly get lost here. Constantly. And you probably will too. Oh, uh, by the way, Hardhead breaks through rocks. Yeah. So, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how we could get up there, because I know we can. But I don't think we can get up there from here. I'm also making sure I don't miss, miss anything. I don't want to miss a beat. Because this area is so confusing that if you miss something, you may not know what you missed. Oh, and there's a chest a chest here hidden behind this bear, which contains a stray bead. I got that one from memory. That one I remember, which is which is very cool. And five praise from the bear. The bear. The bear, bear. The bear. Hey. <laughs> this guy wants to... This guy's in the cold. There we go. Oh, you're nice and warm now. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too warm, but... Hey, how could you be too warm in this place? Could you picture how cold this would have to be? Well, actually, it probably wouldn't be that cold. I'm not I'm not a weather expert, but I'm thinking that if it were much below zero, then it wouldn't snow, it would be hailing. But I could be wrong about that. There's another owl. Yeah. I could be wrong about that because, you know, it, it does snow in, like, the Antarctic, but that's way below zero. So... Huh. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm now kind of unsure what constitutes, or what prerequisites have to be filled for hail to happen. So that's locked, too. Uh, actually... Can we, can we get over there from here? Yes? Yes. And... Where are we? Wow. Uh, this is really confusing. We're on this plateau. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna change it to night. Okay, I was just really curious if maybe, you know, this was something that there was a buried chest on. Can I believe that? No. Okay, well, I, what I wanted to do, uh, we could have progressed up there, but there's an area that I just want to go to first. Because it's it's something that, oops, it's something that once we go there, we won't really need to go there again. And, you know, then then I won't have to take the focus off of the, vi of the villagers once we're able to speak to them and on something else. Okay, so there's stray bead up here. This is that area where I said that I knew I, we could go up to. So there's stray bead right here next to these geese. So we already have three. Yeah, we have three stray beads already. That's really nice. And some praise from the geese for feeding them some fish. I'm really glad we're making the animals happy because they're they're probably starving. And I'm really surprised that this that this lake isn't frozen over. But it's probably because it's it's so active. Oh whoa, you flew over here. I didn't know you'd do that. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the water tablet. 
so we can walk across here. I, I forgot I had that. I was thinking that I was still in the mindset that water is really inconvenient, but it's actually not very. So we can go back here. Where is this on the map? This is actually pretty open and kind of scary because I can't see a bit. Uh, literally, I, I could not see at all. Now, what is back here? Nothing? Really? There is nothing out here. Also, we're way off the map. What is back here? This is kind of... This is really freaky. It makes me feel really alone. Because, you know, the dark is something that naturally everyone has a slight aversion to. But also, it's over freezing cold, super deep water. And that's not, that's not something I, I'm a fan of, like, ever. Super deep water. Mm-mm. No. I don't... I don't like that. I'm not gonna go. Uh, I'm not going to go as far to say, as to say that I have aquaphobia, but I'm not a big fan of water. Okay, actually, we can see a lot. We can see a lot better if we just use the brush. Uh, there's nothing out here. Okay. Uh, there's something over there. No. No blossoms. Nothing at all. That was actually pretty useful for me to think of the brush. Okay, so that's out of the way. I feel my conscience conscience is sated, sated. Yeah, that's a, that's a word. So now we can go up to the thing. Maybe let's go. Let's go up. We could probably. Can we go? Actually, could we have gone? No. Okay, we couldn't go in the store. So we we've already gotten three stray beads, and there are there are four in total. So yeah, we're we're really we're, we're really set. So we can now go up here. Finally. How'd this even work? This looks like just snow. In fact, this area reminds me a lot of the um, the Goron village from from Majora's Mask. Uh, a lot of you guys have haven't played the game, I'll bet, but it's it's a pretty good game. Um, but this reminds me a lot of that hardcore hardcore nostalgia. Even though I've actually never played that game, nostalgia from playing uh, from watching an LP multiple times, the same LP. Halt! G who goes there? This is the house of the village elder. If you need something from the elder, you must go through me. I am Samical, top warrior of the Oina tribe. Oina warrior, Samical. Sheesh, who does this th guy think he is? Well, at least we finally met someone from the village. So what are you doing standing around in the middle of this blizzard? Hmm? That grating voice, grating voice, grating voice, grating voice. I'm really kind of rethinking my my voice for Isun now. What in the world are you doing with that strange white wolf? That's none of your business, pal. Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess. Is it true demons have taken over Ezofuji? You must have been gone for some time if you don't know that. Save your questions for when you go get back to your own village. That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious wolf with you, too. Why, you little... We're done talking to you. Let's let us into the chief's house. No, you may not pass. We normally don't even let uh, we normally don't even let strangers into the village. I've told the villagers not to let them into their houses. They will obey me, uh, for I am Samical, chief of Webkir. Now be on your way. Man. Man, you're you're cold. <laughs> Literally, he's cold. Hold a sec. You, chief? What happened to the old man Kimu? He didn't buy the farm, did he? Fool, of course he's still alive. But he's been greatly weak in battling the demons. Now their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off. Ever since the, since the elders' volcanic incantation can foil their plans, that is why I became chief of the village. I must protect the elder from the monsters lurking in every corner. Now be on your way. Be gone at once. Will he hit us? No, he won't hit us. Can I circle him? No! Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I was like, no! He, I can't! I can't do that! Okay, so... Kimu is a, is the elder, apparently old, and he used to be the chief, but he hasn't bought the farm, so that's nice. Uh, we still can't go in here, can we? No, we can't. So... Where? <laughs> where, <laughs> where? Is the question. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're going to have to leave and try to find Isun's village. That makes the most sense. And a snowball. <laughs> a snowball makes even more sense. No. No. Fine. Let's leave. 
It's kind of sad. Fruitless, too. Hey, wait! Hmm? You guys, wait up! Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Isun, is it you? I thought I heard you talking to Samical. I, th I just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've gone. And that Samical's still as stubborn as ever. When did he become chief? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest at my place? And bring your white wolf, too. Well, it's a it's a girl wolf. Yo, girl. Oh, a Matarasu's a girl. I forgot. <laughs> if if I I'm I'm used to playing as this is kind of sad because we're almost you know this this LP is almost as long as that one. I'm used to playing as Link, where I could just go up to a girl and go, Yo, girl, you wanna you wanna ride on my loft wing with me? <laughs> Burr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, Isun could. Yeah. Okay. It's not as shameless because Isun Isun is a guy, so he can hit on her. So I'll, I'll just be, I'll just pretend I'm Isun hitting on her. Burr, at least the, at least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, Isun? And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. The Oina girl, Kai. This here is a Matarasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. Uh, <laughs> now let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about those demons that are plaguing Kamui. What in the world brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Lechku and Nechku. They were sealed away by a brave Oina years and years ago. And they have been enshrined in at the Waoku Shrine ever since. Then one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Kimu set out for the shrine at the top of Ezofuji to pacify them, but they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Samical man managed to get to him just in time and bring him back. Then they got to even they got even more violent and turned Ezofuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Samical's trying to protect the village while Kimu re recovers, but there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fix if old man Kimu's prayers won't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinshu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kimu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness, and there's a legend that all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently, and vanished into the Waoku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's, uh, the blizzard's been stronger since then. This is... these are a lot of new developments. Kai, there's something I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred so sword Kutane? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kimu let him take it at, the t at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki. He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Samical was chosen to take Kimu's place as, chi as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission? Well, everyone admits Oki is a great warrior. Even Samical does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now, of all times. One last thing, Kai. It's about Samical. I, I'm, I th I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce his name. Samical? Samichael? I don't think it's... Samikal? Samikal actually might be it. Uh, actually, someone I could ask, uh, Donovan Lewis, shoutouts to you, uh, you corrected me last time when I was pronouncing, uh, Ben K's name, and correct me this time, is it, is it, um, is it, now, I'm, now I forgot his name, is it Samichael or Samichael or Samichael, what is it, help me, <laughs> help me here, bro, 
He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kimu. Oh, also, Donovan Lewis is a, is a viewer, um, and also he has his own channel by the name I just referred to him as, so check it out. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't normally, like, give shout-outs to people, but, you know, he was he was the guy that cor corrected me last time. It's ca it's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that, but you see, well, Samico will never say it, but he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. So then, why do you have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost. Well, maybe that's because she doesn't take a bath. <laughs> well, the day after the village that was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika? As in Lika, your... That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Oh, uh, not poor little Lika, too. Why would all those, why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? We don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance, but they would certainly have a reason to seek her out. You see, Lika... Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village? That was Kimu's howl. He's calling to you, Isun. He's summoning the both of you. <laughs> oh, we can walk past Samiko or Samiko. I'll probably, even if his name's Samiko, I might just call him Samiko because it's shorter and it rhymes with comical. Comical, Samiko, comical, Samiko, and I can taunt him because he was rude to us. He was a bad man. In fact, he's such a bad man. You guys, don't look at him. Picture that. No, that's that's bad. This is Samical. Wait. Ugh. No. Ugh. 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 Okay, that's Samical. Wait. He needs a he needs an arm and then a really curvy one, because that's just how he is. That's a whip. He's cracking the whip. This is Samical. This is a test, guys. You see Samical? What do you do when you see Samical? If you're doing it correctly, what you should do is not look at him. Just blot out his face and don't look at that bad man. I'll stop. <laughs> that was, that was, that was comical. That was truly comical. Okay, it's just a hop, skip, and jump back to the village. Actually, oh, okay, so here's Kai's house. I should remember this. I should remember this, that this is Kai's house. Uh, and we'll probably, we'll talk, we'll talk with Kimu before we end off the episode. We have time for that. Oh, here's here's Samical raging. Hey, buddy. What? You still got a bone to pick with us or something? The elder summons the white wolf to his home. You may enter. Well, it's about time. Out of our way, chump. Oh, he's... Grrr. He knows how to take an insult. What are you glaring at? The old man wants to see us. We'll let ourselves in. Then don't keep the elder waiting. And if anything should happen to him, you'll answer to me. Man. Okay, he just says the same thing. I actually, actually kind of want to talk to this guy, because <laughs> we honestly don't really encounter someone who straight up doesn't like us. And it's kind of it's kind of new, and honestly, a little bit fun. <laughs> it's a little bit fun to have someone who doesn't like us that's not an enemy. Kind of, it's a new angle on things. Actually, you know, I, I've decided... I don't want to push this episode any further on time. I'm sorry if it's a little bit short, but I don't think it is. I think with what I'm cutting out, it should be just the right length. So, sorry if I got your hopes up for a long episode, but, you know, I, I kind of do that thing, that sort of thing a lot. So, I'm, I shouldn't really be apologizing. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time in Okami, we'll be going into Old Man... I shouldn't call him Old Man Kimu. Uh, the, the Village Elder Kimu's house and just strutting right past Samical. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's he's really angry. Also, his wolf form's pretty sweet. All all of their wolf form's really sweet. Kai's is pretty cool too. Okay, so yeah, next time we're going to just be walking there and talking to Kimu, seeing what he has to say. And uh, if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Okami. Ooh, secret area. Whoa, secret area. I just... Oh, I forgot about this. Oh. Uh, then there's something up there. Uh, I should do this real quick. Just real quick. So if you guys wanted a long episode, you have it. Right here is a sun fragment. That one. That one was from memory. 
That was from memory, and that's a new unit of solar energy. Yes! Yes! Sorry if I burst your eardrums, but that is awesome. I'm not sure, is that the last sun fragment in the game? I could be wrong. Future pal, clarify that, but is, I, that might be the last one. So anyway, uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are... Bite the sheep. Saturdays are long episodes, and I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> for another Pal Plays Okami. Let's go and feed these sheep.